Security First Corp. Safety through knowledge. How to whitelist a site. Have you ever found yourself needing to access a specific website while keeping all other sites blocked? This is where whitelisting comes in, a powerful tool to ensure you can visit the sites you need without any restrictions. So, let's dive into how you can whitelist a site. First, let's start with Google Chrome, one of the most popular browsers out there. To whitelist a site in Chrome, you need to open the browser and click on the three dots in the top right corner. Select Settings and scroll down to the Privacy and Security section. Here, click on Site Settings, then Content. Scroll down to the Allowed section and click on Add to enter the URL of the website you want to whitelist. If you Mozilla Firefox, the process is slightly different, but just as straightforward. Um, open Firefox, click on the three horizontal lines in the top right corner, and select Settings. Go to the Privacy and Security section and scroll down to the Permissions area. Click on Exceptions and enter the URL of the website you want to whitelist, then select Allow. For Safari users on Mac OS, you'll need to open Safari and click on Safari in the top menu bar. Select Preferences, then click on the Websites tab. Here you can locate the website you want to whitelist and adjust the permissions accordingly. Now, what if you're using antivirus software or managing network settings? In antivirus programs like McAfee, you can open the application, navigate to the Web Control section, click on Manage Websites, and select Add URL to enter the website's URL. For Norton, open the application, click on Settings, select Firewall, then Program Rules, and add the URL of the site you want to whitelist. When it comes to network settings, such as on your router or firewall, the process can vary depending on the manufacturer. Generally, you'll need to access the router or firewall's configuration interface, usually via a web browser or dedicated software, and locate the content filtering or website blocking settings. Here, you can add the URLs or domains of the websites you want to whitelist. It's also important to note that accuracy is key when whitelisting sites. Make sure the URL you enter is correct, and if you're using a network or antivirus software, ensure all settings are adjusted correctly to avoid any unwanted blocks. Whitelisting is not just about adding sites. It's also about maintaining security. Regularly review and update your whitelist to remove any unnecessary or outdated entries. This helps keep your online environment secure and focused. In summary, whitelisting a site is a simple yet powerful way to ensure you can access the websites you need while keeping others blocked. Whether you're using a web browser, antivirus software, or network settings, the steps are clear and straightforward. So next time you need to whitelist a site, you'll know exactly what to do. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.